Jesse Hunter here. We're back. And as promised, today we'll have a look at two nearby settlements. First, I'm heading to a potential uh, Indian camp that may want to join me. So I'm going there first to see if I'm in luck. And if I, let's say, <laughs> Uh, I'm good enough for them to join me. So basically they usually want you to have a certain amount of camps, usually it's two or three. So at this point I have two, so let's hope that is enough to get my third camp up and running. And they're over here, to the left, somewhere. Yep, there we go. So let's see if they want to join me. Hi, what's up? I'm Loxley. Will you join? Yeah. So, these are now my warriors too. So I have a nice outpost over here. We had the river camp, the west camp, so this will be the north camp. So we don't forget where it is. And as you see, river camp is kind of full, so I'll send two people straight to north camp. Uh, how, much, how many weapons do I have? Okay, so I'll tell them to bring some weapons as well. Uh, yep, send two warriors. Let's not take horses. Ooh, they want to take a repeater and a shotgun. Well, you can't have both. Repeater, okay. And then something a bit lighter. Like a Saxon Navy pistol. Uses 54. Uh, I don't have ammo for that anymore. So you can't use this one. Okay, let's see. What do we have ammo for? We have 44. Okay, well then. <laughs> you get a tiny pistol. Alright, that's good enough. Let's go. So then this will, camp will no longer be overcrowded. And this camp will be at full capacity as well. Now let's check out this forest camp. As we discussed last time, we're going to, for these two. Let's see if we run into any snags or if we can just take them over. And of course, it's going to be a big difference if it's a two person camp. It's going to be fairly easy. This looks like a three person camp, it's just one cabin. And perhaps there's a tent nearby, and that should be it. Oh, it's just going to dawn right now, so that's not good. It's getting daylight. It'll make it much easier for them to spot me. And it's all open grounds here, so I don't have much cover. Alright. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Yeah, so there's a tent on the left, and one cabin. So typically this would be a three-person setup. Let's see if we can figure out where they are. So we can get the drop on them. Okay, so I don't see anyone yet. Do I have... I have my spyglass. Which can help detect them. Oh, there's one. Okay. And there's another one. Okay. I wanted to go behind the rock. Okay, so there's two confirmed guys. One on this side of the cabin and one on the other side. And I think there's a third guy as well. Two guys. Oh, yeah, third guy just came out of the house. Okay, so. So two guys are behind the cabin, one is in front of it. Let's see if I can get the one. Oh no. <laughs> Another guy just showed up here. Or is it the same guy? Okay, so it appears to be the same guy. Do a bit of grass, but not much. Uh oh. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Let's go for it. Please don't kill me! 
quickly deal with them. Let's rob him and hopefully intimidate him before that guy over there turns. <gasps> he's coming up right now. Oh, he's going to see me. He's going to see me. Why is he not seeing me? How is he not seeing me, man? I can be useful. Okay, yeah, just approach. I'll take you out as well. That's right. Bam. <laughs> yeah? Please, I have wife and kids, don't kill me. Alright, I won't kill you. Let's get your load. Let's get your load. Now, let's intimidate this guy. And really investing early in the quick intimidation skill, it really pays off, because it saves a couple of seconds each time, but getting this uh, at next level, it's just two seconds for intimidation. Especially if you have bigger camps, you sometimes don't have more time than just two seconds to uh, intimidate someone. And I got very lucky just over there. I don't still don't know how he didn't see me, he was so focused on his on his mate lying there, he didn't see me intimidating him. Yeah, so some of these guys are like really blind, whereas others are really vigilant. Sometimes they spot me from a mile away while I'm in the bushes, so we're really like, how do you see me? <laughs> in this case, I'm stumped with how blind he was. He was coming straight at me, the leader guy, he was coming straight at me didn't spot me. Really insane. Alright, so that was this one. Uh, let's see if there's someone, something nearby where I can... Oh, so I can drop my loot over here, but I also can drop my loot over there. Let's go over there. So make it uh, two birds with one stone. As they say in the Netherlands, two flies in one clap. within 50, 50 meters, yeah, it'll show up on the map, and there it is. These are darn happy, they're everywhere, they cannot be captured, and they allow me to quickly get rid of my loot. Alright. Apple beverage are nice, but they're very heavy, I mean, they're two pounds each. Honey, it's nice, but it also ha half a pound each. I don't want to toil around with that. Yeah, nice. Let's just put it all in there. Did I just... Oh, this is what I want to keep. Medicine and my fish stuff. Yeah, this is all lightweight. I'm at 15 pounds, and I'm still good to go. Ah, uh, but... What? So, this one here... Still has only has two warriors. This one here is eleven. Why didn't you go there? Why'd you have to go to the north camp? Did I not select it right the last time? Okay, let's not go with let's go to Peter, yeah. And let's go with uh, this one. And uh was it this one? Do we have fifty four? We have fifty four, okay, so let's take this one. Alright, you will get five of these for the repeater, and you'll get five of these for the other one. Alright, let's go. Alright, so now we're still overcrowded, but less overcrowded than before. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, okay, so I can create another camp. Uh, let's do that. Uh, Let's go... I don't want to be near roads. Is there easier compromise? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, there's, there's a road here. So, I don't want to be too close to the road, because then you'll be constantly attacked by settlers passing by. Let's sit right here. It's nicely between the roads. Yep, 
let's take three guys. Um, I really don't like giving them powerful weapons like this. Let's give you a nice uh, rifle there. Okay. Shotgun is nice. Alright, let's go. Oh, they carry too much weight. Okay, so one less shotgun then. And then five of these less. And then uh, more. A lighter piece of machinery. Uh, yeah, let's give him. This is a 44 cal load. Uh, yeah, five of these. Alright, now we're below the limit. Shotgun, a rifle, and a pistol. That should do. No worries. Let's go. Alright, so this one is no longer overpopulated. And this camp we can call West Camp. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong. East Camp. I always mix up East and West. Alright, so this is taken care of. Oh, bears there. I don't want to go near them. Let's go for this one. Now let's quickly check the map. I can follow the main road up to there and then I need to... Okay, so if they're straight below me. Now where's the road? Here's the road. Yeah, in this direction. You move a lot quicker over the road. And you don't have to be exactly on it. If you're close enough, then you'll have the speed bonus. Funny thing is, no matter if you're off-road or on the road, you cannot outrun wildlife. So if, if you're being chased by, let's say, a wolf, or last time I was chased by a boar and two bear, yeah, then you want to... Uh, I think I passed it already. I passed it already. Yeah, so what I usually do is I just keep riding until I reach a camp, be it, be it friendly or hostile, and have them take out the animals for me. So I don't have to worry about it. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like a two man post. I think. I think he was more to the right. All, all the way over there. Okay, all the way over there. Let's see, do I have cover somewhere? There's a small bush over here. Can I take cover in this? Yeah. Oh, it hurts my eyes. It's way too bright. Okay. Looks like that guy over there is not paying atten attention. He's coming this way. Let's back a bit. Or in the bush. Oh, I so could take out the guy back there. But I'm at the wrong side of the camp right now. Okay, so now the guy up front here is approachable. Oh, the guy in the back needs to move a bit. Come on, move. Move. Come on. No, sneaking up on people is mostly a game of waiting. I've waited enough. 
My leader is there. I figured as much. Why am I not hitting him? Finally! Man, that was messed up. Oh, quickly, before he comes to. Let's take what you have and intimidate him. That was messy. Yeah, if I would have been more patient, I may have been able to. Get both of them. But then again, it is what it is. No more loot, just one. Usually there's a second case around or something. Oh, I don't see it. Alright, so let's get back to my horse. Over here. Yeah, so patience is something that really helps in this game. See my health? It's not that good anymore. Let's see, do I have something? Now I, I have my auto health regen, so I don't care too much about my health. Now let's see what we got. Okay, so someone joined East Camp. They only have three guns, so yeah. Let's go to West Camp and redistribute some weapons from there. So, so we got two more camps here. Which means we liberated this region. This region here is empty, so that's good too. So it's ours as well. Even if we have no camp there. Alright. Let's get over here. Seriously, do I need to be up there? Yep, I should have taken the other way around. Yeah, I hate the, the mountainous areas here. It's not, not that it's not pretty, but getting around. Sometimes you're just blocked by a ridge and you really can't. You have to uh, take a long way around. Is that an abandoned tent? Or is that part of the camp? It's an abandoned tent near the camp. Alright. Let's quickly loot this. Well, if there was something to loot. But there is not. Okay. Anyway, we're at the camp. So from here I can get some extra weapons over to the east camp. Oh, I have some weapons on me. Yeah, let's just... Uh, um, I don't have so much ammo, but I could put another rifle over there. And then I would need to get some 75 ammo from here. Yep, and then put that over there. Let's put the rest of my loot over here. Uh, yeah, the army is inferior to the frontier, so I'll keep the frontier. Revolver. Yeah. Well, let's see if there's more ammo for this in the camp. Do we have 38? Yeah, we have 38 cal. Let's get uh, 10. I'd like to carry not too much ammo. If I can't solve the problem with 38, 
36 rounds, then it probably is better to just hire tail it out of there. And if you see my health, it's almost full again. So really just waiting it out usually pays off. Uh, let's add an order for more belt. Bows and arrows. Right, let's get, uh, let's say, uh, 30 more pelt. That seems acceptable, right? Do we have bows and arrows in here? Uh, yeah, we have some, not much. Um, yeah, let, let's craft some bows and arrows as well. Five bows. And let's also craft some wooden arrows. Yeah, it's already selected. I don't know, like 20. Should be enough. Oh, we have wooden bows, and we have... So what's the problem then? Let's just cancel it. We have, we have, all right. Uh, wooden ropes, primary, more belt can go after that. Because we need that to upgrade these camps, we need more belt. All right, let's see. Let's head south. Let's go over here. Let's go over there. Yeah. I don't carry anything unnecessary. I'm at 16. Yeah, that's nice. Let's go. So it's two settlements taken care of. Create a new camp. Now let's just... I think I can follow this road. Yeah, I can follow this road all the way. Alright, let's do this. Oh. A broken down cart, which means loot. Oh, six pounds of rabbit belt. Uh, yeah, let's hope we come across an outpost where I can dump my resources. And since there's no one, in, uh, none of them in sight, I hope there will be one in the grey area just beyond it. So, oh yeah. oh yeah, 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 it's this part of the road. That's the part of the road where you cannot bring your cart along. Really nice. Alright, so I'm almost there, where I wanted to go. Alright, let's see if there's anything, oh, see, there's a camp side right over there. Or an outpost. Doesn't show up yet. You have to be really close and then it will show up. And now it should show up, yep. Here it is. Must they exclude it? Well, well, what I really like about this game is the fact that it's not one fixed map, as in Red Dead Redemption, so you really never know uh, the map because it's different uh, with every playthrough. And it makes it very interesting, because uh, it uh, gives it a lot of replayability. Because no two playthroughs are the same. You can have bad luck with your start camp in a poor position. It can be in a great position, right? And everything in between. I also love the night time, because you can really sneak around and get really close without them seeing you. Oh boy, if it, get day, if it gets daylight, then they'll spot you from a mile away. Well, sometimes, not always, but more often than not. Okay, let's follow the river. That's also a funny thing, the river is never too deep to ride through, so you can always cross over it. And the other thing is, you can use it just like a road. Because it's never too deep, you never get to a point where you the horse like six or six away. Oh, there's some fish here. Yeah, you, you can fish as well, right, in this game. Here it is. Oh, yeah. oh this is a small one. So, the 
looks like it's a two-man setup. I'm lucky they're both asleep. Let's let's get closer. No, one guy's in front. I see him. He's probably standing guard. Hell of a job. And his friend is lying there sleeping. <laughs> Quick enough. All right, that was that was some nice quick time. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Rolling up, getting one guy <laughs> quickly, knocking him out, getting the next guy. Show yourself. Oh, that was that was beautiful. You don't always get uh, get to be so lucky, but this time I was lucky, and I'm glad. But you just run off. Oh, she's riding. I just grab your positions while I'm at it. I didn't look. I just take everything because it's still early in the game. I'll probably have used it. Or I can see if there's anything else nearby. Yep, there's an outpost there. So it'd be a good thing to go there. It's also really rewarding to uh, take up the camps using stealth. Because per uh, intimidation you get 100 skill points. Whereas if you kill them, you get 40. If you get a headshot, you get 65. So, intimidation is by far the most lucrative. It made, uh, and it's also, well, kind of the harder way to do it. You need to sneak up on them, make sure they don't see you. You can also uh, get them once they saw you, but that's more difficult. So you need to uh, wound them below a certain level, and then you can... Uh, they, uh, then you can knock them out, but if you're uh, not careful, you'll just end up straight up killing them, and that means just 40 skill points. I was thinking about experience points, but we're counting uh, skill points here. Alright, smoked meat, way too heavy, put the bag. Nah. Don't really need all the extra stamina. I haven't run into any situation where I'm really short on stamina. Well, I sometimes ran out of breath, but it was mostly because I was just running through the woods. Uh, I don't want that many of this, so let's... Which one's better to keep? That one's better. Yeah, okay, so let's put some of these in the camp. Let's say uh, four of them. Alright, so I have less than a kilo. Oh, then let's put 14 of these also in the camp. Uh, yeah, 14. Now let's unload this one. And let's put one of them in this camp, because the thing is... If you just put one in the camp, which one will it put? The loaded one or the unloaded one? So to be sure, I just do it like this, and then I reload again. And then I'm back to where I want to be. Let's quickly check my weight. 16.6. .6. That sounds acceptable for what I'm carrying. Yep, excellent. Alright, let's see what else we got. So with liberating that, we have this whole region uh, to our disposal, to our, uh, at our disposal. Let's ask these guys to join. Then I automatically already have a camp in this area. Although I may need to create a new camp. I was wondering what is this, but this is the trading post, of course. Oh, let's just ignore them. 
Am I going the right direction then? Oh, I need to go this direction. This was the camp I just... Uh, I just been. I love these areas. Well, for, for riding. For sneaking up on people, I prefer the forest. That's also one of the tough things, right? If you're in the desert area, sneaking up becomes a lot more difficult. On one hand, there's less bears, because bears are typically more in the mountains. So you have more cover in the mountains, but also uh, bears and wolves. And on the plains you have less of those animals, but also less cover. And if you want to sneak up on someone, cover is pretty crucial. Lastly, yeah, that's me. Will you join our fight? Alright, thank you. Welcome to the family. Now let's see how full are they. Oh, let's call them the Southeast Camp. We may give them uh, better names later, but for now let's keep it simple. Okay, so we have two guys, two horses. And here we have two guys, too many. So let's set two to my South. East camp. What do I equip by default? Uh, let's not take a wooden bow. It's nice, but if I have the choice, do I have 75? I have 70. Let's give you a rifle. Alright, we're still below the weight limit. Yep, let's go. Alright, so <laughs> we have a big fort over there. Uh, well, it's not part of one of the red areas, so here we have a red area, here we have a red area, here we have a red area. So they're not particularly part of a uh, bigger area. Uh, but let, let's not push it. Some wood gatherers going pretty quick. Where might they be going? Seems they're heading straight uh, for me. They're going really quick, so they, they I, I don't think they'll have a cart with them. If they do, I would like to have that cart. So where are they going? Going straight up? Oh, they just stopped. Alright, well. Um, yeah, I'm not going to look for trouble here. Let's go this way, see if we can expand in this direction as well. So we have a bit of room on all sides. Uh, it's this direction. It would be really nice to have a north, south, east, west added to the compass at the top. It makes navigating just that much easier. Now you really have nothing to go on except for your waypoints. It would be nice to just have a general direction like I'm heading southeast or I'm heading north. Oh. Alright. Jackpot right away. Okay, so we're going this way. Two. Alright, two. Let's hope they're not. No, I think I see buildings there. Huts, cabins. Oh yeah, that looks serious. Oh, that looks like quite a big one. Seems to have a corral. Alright, let's park my horse down here. Out of sight. Well, hopefully, out of sight. It would be better to go after him at night, but still, here I am. And let's check out my skill points. Uh, I really want to get this one. I did get five more before I can get it. 
fight my intimidation, so I won't have it for this camp. Maybe I'll have it for the next camp. Okay, so we have one guy over there. Now let's pick out the spyglass. Uh, and then hit the G. That's right. So, okay, there's a guy with a shotgun. There's the guy. I don't see a rifle, so maybe he's just holding a pistol. Yeah, seems he's holding a pistol. There's a guy. And also, seems like not a rifle guy. There's one. Chip wood. And there's another chip wood. So there's two guys there. Three, four, and five. Yeah. So five I count so far. Let's hope it's just these five guys. Usually with a camp of this size, it can also be six or maybe seven. So let's see if we can get real close to them. Oh. All right. Um. Uh oh. Okay, so he can't see me like this. Where did this guy go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so they're all looking after each other. So I think I may have to wait till night time. It's going to be hard to catch someone alone over here. Now let's give it a try. Let's see if I can lure this enemy over here. Alright. Let's go a little bit behind here. Let's hope he comes. Yep, there he goes. Come on. And then when he's behind you, I can grab him. Please don't kill me! I can be in use for you. There's a leader of mine. I can be in use for you. My heaven is there. Go take them! I can tell you everything. Look, there's my friend. Please <laughs> leave me alone. He really knew a lot. Alright, let's get his stuff. Hope he's running out of me. No, that's good. Now let's intimidate him. Alright, so that went nicely according to plan. I was able to get him behind here and then uh, deal with him. Alright. Come on, get out of the way. Okay, so we have another guy. Let's see if we can lure him here as well. So where are he's coming through this side or is he coming through the other way? Yeah, he's going through the other way. Okay, so I have to go over here. He will be coming from that side. Yeah, there he is. Yes. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Look, there's my friend. Please leave me alone. Uh oh, there's the leader. Yeah, he's already shooting. Let's ignore him and just intimidate this guy. <laughs> I hope he's a terrible shot. Yeah, he's shooting at the wood. He's missing completely. Have you seen him? And in the meantime, his friend is taken care of. So, are there just two guys left, or are there more left? Oh yeah, there are more left. Yeah, I see another guy. So, three, four guys, I think, still. So it makes it a six-person crew. What? So he just shot me, and now he's just walking around. Alright, yeah. 
Why not? There's three to my left, and there's one here on the right. He just keeps on shooting them. And you're like, you just go ahead and just shoot. <laughs> you're not hitting anything. <laughs> from over there? Come on! <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. Alright, see? Another 100 skill points for me. It sometimes takes well for the intimidation to be registered. I mean, like, what are you doing, man? What are you shooting at? Seriously, think you're gonna hit me from there? You know what? I'll just relocate and hopefully they'll just stop shooting after a while. Let's just go behind this stack of trees. I'll never expect that. There's a guy with a rifle over there. He doesn't seem to know where I am. I stop shooting. I'm no longer there. And so this time I'm going to be patient. Okay, so he's going pretty far out. So maybe we can get him without others noticing. Uh, come on, get. Let's get this bush behind, between us, and then let's see if I can take him out. There's this other guy over there. So I can't get to him without being spotted. Well, I did get a nice new position. Okay, let's have a look. Two guys near the tents. The one guy I was going for is all the way over there. Let's see what we can do over here. Can we get the leader? Oh, he's all the way over there. Oh, so he's too far away. Back into these bushes here. Come on, come on. Oh, he's so close. He's here. I can be useful. I oh, can that be was useful. so lucky. This was so friggin' lucky. Oh man. I did not see him coming. I did not see him coming at all. Oh, there's another one. So this is like the third you guy come here. taking out, and there's three left. Yeah, so it's a six-man crew. I think it's three guys that have taken out so far. Yeah, two behind the logs. This guy here. Okay, so different. There was one guy that I cannot tag. I cannot keep track of him can keep track of the leader and the other guy over there. Right, so it seems like it's getting dark. That would be nice. Oh my uh, the reputation points. I need two more for this. Right, so once I've taken out two more guys I won't be needing it anymore. Leader is over there. And then there's this guy right here. Okay, let's see. We'll get all the way over there. Oh, he's no longer there. Where did he go? I don't want to be getting sneaked up. Where did he go? Oh, he's on this side again. Okay. 
can be useful. It's also a good way of dealing with this. Is carrying someone to a more secluded area and doing the intimidation over there. Funny thing is, carrying a body does not slow you down. And I'm very happy it does not, so you can still move quite quickly. So if you don't have time to intimidate him, check if you have time to pick someone up. Come here, Boston. Right, so he's taken care of. Now another guy is coming closer. Let's see if we can take this guy out. If we can, it would be really nice. Oh, he's still far away. Come here, Boston. I thought he was closer. Oh, leader's coming this way as well. Seen. Is he behind the bush? If he is, then. Oh, he's taking a leak. Excellent. That means. Room to take him out quietly. Let's go for it. Ha! You were done! Well, you're not. Please don't kill me! I can tell you everything. My heaven is there! Go take them! Please leave me alone. Uh, yeah, let's pick it up. I was just checking my weight. I still have a person available. So now it's just a leader. Uh, over there, yeah. The other direction there isn't the other camp. Over there. Go for this leader now, and then we're done. So we really don't need to be so sneaky. All I have to do is get close enough, don't need to worry about people looking out. And... Oh, it didn't register yet. Okay, so let's wait a moment for the intimidation to get registered. Then I can unlock... Oh, no, seriously. Okay, so now I don't... When I don't have to look out again, he's just fast asleep. Alright, let's take him out. I can tell everything you want. Well, I told you what I know! There's nothing left to tell. Alright, let's take what you have. Nice frontier one. Let's intimidate him. And then we're done! This camp is mine. This camp is my camp. <laughs> Pun intended. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Uh, I can still take on quite some Wait, so let's have a look. Um, there's a storage thing over here. Yep, not too heavy. Uh, yep, I'm just quickly checking the weight. If it's not too heavy, I'll just take everything and I'll sort it out later. If it's heavy, then I need to make a choice to bring it or not. Like, uh, for example, a set of dice of two and a half pounds. It really gets me to wonder what, what type of dice are they? Are they stone dice? Or they must be lead dice or iron dice. Okay, so now the weight is getting in, uh, involved. So let's... Uh, I can still take it, but now I'm pretty much full. So everything I'm taking now must be either very light... Uh, okay, okay, so... I'm really pushing it in terms of weight. How much am I carrying? I can carry an additional 1.1. <laughs> okay, so that's not much. Let's see if there's anything at all to find here. I really want to move on to that camp, but... You know. Uh, it's just... I don't know. Full with carrying stuff. So let's unlock this one. I really wanted that for a long time. I think next one will be the territory reveal, which allows me to see more of the area around me. Okay, let's go to East Camp quickly and then uh, dump my stuff there and then come back. So I could go there, but I see a boar and here I see bears. 
I'd rather not go there. There's one of the bugs. Sometimes the question marks stay there, but there's nothing to take. Alright, where's my horse? On this side. Yeah, so it, it went alright. I was spotted. <laughs> he shot at me, but he soon forgot and he went to sleep. It's so crazy, right? During the day, he spots me from, I don't know, far away. Starts shooting, keeps missing. He spots me through objects. And then when it comes night time, he just goes to sleep without wondering where I am. So, not very, not really smart. Uh, I had to stop by here. I see an abandoned camp and I have to stop by. Let's see if they have anything. Yep, they do. I carry 1.1. But I think this is nice to have, so is there something here that I'm not really attached to? Let's just see how much I'm over. So I'm 4.9 over. <sighs> 4.9, something I could consume. Yeah, I don't think I can consume 4.9. So let's have a look. Uh, let's do uh, this one here. Two contains, let's give me two honey, that saves me a pound. Uh, sausage, yeah, why not? 2.8. Okay, so now if I would drop one of these, I should be fine. Alright. Loaded. You could forget. Oh, I was this close. I was this close. <laughs> well, maybe I can go back and pick it up. All right, let's go. Put some stuff in here. The rifle. This one. Both of these. That one. That one. All these bull and all the shells. Tonic the apple distilled water medicine. I'm keeping the nuts may go. Tomato I keep. There we go. Alright. And of course I need to unload my weapon. Then let's put one of them over there. And let's... Okay, yeah. 36. Half. Select it. Reload it. And then I'm back to 30 rounds. Oh yeah, that's something I could have done as well. I could have just reloaded my weapons. And then it would be there as well. Good to know. Alright, um, yeah, let's go for this one. I hope it's a small camp. So I want to squeeze it in this video. Let's see if we can do it. Since the camp next to it was quite big, let's hope this one is really small. Oh, let's see if my gun is still here. I dropped it here, right? Oh. Uh, I think it's just gone. Where is this? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so it still was here. Nice, 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 nice. So, yeah, let's quickly drop this off and then go to the camp. Wait, wait. Where is it? Oh, over here. Read the orientation in this game. It is tough getting around because everything looks like. It looks gorgeous, though, right? You really need to keep track of where you're at. Really, the waypoints really saved my life here. Because there's no north, south, anything. Alright, now let's see. Hopefully it's just a small camp, like a two-man camp. It's still night, so it 
that should be good for me. Give me some cover on my approach. Let's approach a bit more from the side here. Alright, I don't see anything yet. That may be a good sign. That may mean it's a very small camp. It's right, okay, settlements, camps, and it's a bivouac. Yeah, I see fire. So, my guess is that it's uh, just a two man camp. Let's have a look. I see no building so far, just a single fire. Yeah, so this. This will be a two-man uh, operation. Let's see if they're both sleeping. Yeah, both are sleeping. Let's see if I can take this quietly. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Yep, he didn't notice a thing. I can be used to you. Yeah, yeah, I know you can be used to me. Right. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was an easy one. So these are the better ones. Two guys, both asleep. No one standing guard. Thanks for the stuff, guys. Floki. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think he was in the Netflix series uh, Vikings. Have you seen it? It's, uh, it's really fun. Alright, some stuff over here. Let's see, sometimes they just have like one stash point. These guys here had like four areas where loot could be found. That's quite excessive for a camp of this size. Alright, so. It's good for my experience. Let's get back on my horse. And the camp has vanished. There is a group of gatherers between me and the camp. I don't like that. Uh, let's avoid them if possible. Oh, oh, oh. What? Is there like a guy left? Where did he come from? Headshot for such a distance. Okay. Yep. So. Alright. Now Rift becomes overpopulated again. So I'm taking the long way around because I want to avoid travelers there. I don't want to have to shoot any more people. Bad for my reputation. Yep, so I was able to get around them safely. And now I should be near my camp. This is why I also prefer to have my camps away from the main roads. Because in earlier playthroughs I thought, well, it's handy to have my camp near the roadside, but it also has some disadvantages. Yeah, once again I have picked up the exact same gun as that I'm carrying. <laughs> Alright, let's put that stuff away. I wonder if there would be like a quick button to just say uh, drop everything that's not food, ammo or weapons, right? So let's say the tools... Oh, they're coming to attack.
I can. I'm taking you out. That's how it works. What? What are you shooting on? What are you shooting at? Oh, they have a wagon! Oh, they have a wagon! Love it! <laughs> I love it! So now... I have a wagon. And a wagon is like a... Um, a mobile... Can I take it? Yeah, I can take it. It's like a mobile base, because this has unlimited carry capacity. Only downside is... Be careful not to break the wheel, so watch out for rocks. So I had it happen to me once, full of loot, it broke down, and then I had to figure out a way to get it, to get all the loot back. Alright, and things also, this will remain right here until the end of time. Let's quickly go get my horse back. Ah, oh, that's all the way over there. So this is what, what I use my stamina for. Just running to my horse and once I'm on my horse... There's no issue. That's one thing I'm wondering about right, too, right? So I have a certain amount of stamina, right? But my horse, it can run forever. So... Makes me wonder, right? Will there be like a horse stamina or is it just... A gameplay mechanic, right? That you can run infinitely with your horse. But it would make sense that the horses would grow tired as well. Now let's unload this. Now let's quickly put my stuff back here. One of these. That. That. Uh, those. And yeah, the sinew. Uh, I used to say sinew, but I recently learned it's sinew. And I'll keep pronouncing it right from now. Let's get me some of these. Five. Yep. So I can reload my weapon again. And end up with 30. Alright, so let's recap. So we took out these two bases right there. We created some camps. Took out one over here. Went to that camp. Took out these two. Not bad. For an hour of work. Let's see what we'll do next time. Hope to see them. Don't forget, if you like to see more of this, please subscribe and like the video. And we'll talk to you next time.